The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, in continuation of the previous tape, we need to caution and need to be understood. If we are great failures not to reach that maximum glorification of Christ, when we pass down either of the one evidence testing given and laid down upon our shoulders, then how shameful we need to be the men, the men to whom this great work has been given to undo the works of evil in the manifestation of that evil deeds in the enlightenment process of the light which has been given to us as Bible doctrine and to make known through that Bible doctrine through the process of the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. If it is not the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to make you to understand that light and cause you to understand that great quality of privileges, then what are you with this great wealth in this church age? And why are you wasting your time in this church age? Dear brethren, greater our work in realizing the truth, greater our work in understanding the truth, is what you and I have been called to the praise of his glory in his grace. The greater our failure to understand, the greater our failure to live behind with our circumcised ears and to put into our heart the information given to us to be a maximum glorified Christ believer on this earth, then what are we really undoing without that work? We have been called to do the work of all the evils to be thrown out, to show forth in the exposing of the light what is evil, what is Satan, what it is and what it has lost. But rather than doing this, when we have been alluring to the word, obscuring from the truth, we are in return voting for Satan and telling that Satan is correct and Satan deeds will not be exposed because we meet in the angelic conflict of Satan, telling to the point what it was and why God created man in this earth. Later on, not only creating man in this earth, Lord wanted to resolve this angelic conflict through your evolution in the privacy of your soul. Through your evolution in this privacy of the soul, if you are not capable of understanding and leaving behind a legendary impact that you have been called here to resolve this angelic conflict, and not only just resolving, positionally you have been superior than to the chief fallen angel known as Satan, but experientially you need to grow up. Experientially, it is a day-by-day -day process that you and I have to think. It is not that weekly ones, monthly ones that we need to take the word. It is a day-by-day -day process, day-by-day -day work. And if it is not in a day-by-day -day process, it is no way possible for us to renovate our thinking, to renovate our standards, to renovate our mind. And this great day-by-day -day process is what it has been given for us to expose in a day-by-day -day work the deeds of Satan when we are trying to become invisible heroes or maximum glorified of Christ believers on this earth. Rather than looking upon to be an invisible hero upon this earth, we are looking to be visible heroes, emphasizing stupid things. That is what material things at the expense of spiritual things, making you to become visible heroes instead of invisible heroes through the knowledge of Bible doctrine, and inculcating upon natural things rather than supernatural things, which should be the only means of executing the supernatural way of life. Dear brethren, guiding them to do good works, involved in emotionalism, causing you to be understanding, to go and get back and do, do this, to do, do that by the apostasy of the trends. That is not the procedure why you are being kept alive over here on this earth. Lord doesn't want to do anything with your money, with your tithes, with your XYZ things. The only tithe that a believer can pay is your time, two hours, 40 minutes of your day to the Lord. 
in out of 24 hours the 10 percent of it how much better you give the time better will be for you to be in a consistent walk with jehovah to know him to understand him and to be made known because this lifetime is possible for you to understand the reality of the word only when you give minimum eight to ten hours of your time to christ the only problem is we all are not into that ministry of serious one. That's why every believer is eligible to give minimum two hours of 40 minutes in his 24 hours given to in his day. This two hours of 40 minutes, morning one hour, evening one hour, he can have that consistency of the walk. So that the greater the desire for truth, greater will be your love towards God. If you're not having that greater desire towards the truth, no doubt you are love. You may think in emotionalism you are loving the God, but that loving is pseudo-love, which is a wrong interpretation, which is not at all right, which is not at all correct. In your imagination, you might be thinking you are doing great things, you are doing great work, you are doing great purpose. No, but in the sight of Jehovah, you are nothing because you are not walking according to his truth. Because the Bible tells to us, those who worship me must worship him in spirit and be Biblical truth. The word Kai, copulative conjunction, which has been used, it has to go force into hand in hand. The will of Lord God the Father, it has to go with the copulative conjunction Kai to the perfecting of Him, said in John 4 24. 34. And why are we here still walking in the flesh? Why are we still here neglecting the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit in our lives? Neglections of the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit in our lives, is what you are really doing and causing to fall an emotional trap. Emotionalism with your guitars, with your music dance, what are you doing in the congregation? Worship the Lord in orders. Give him the right honor that is due unto his name alone. Who are we to rob his name? Who are we to modify his name? Who are we to change the thing? Whenever we talk about the automobile industry, we tell all the time, what the company guy has designed, that will be the perfect, do not go to alter your handlebar or your seat arrangement or any other thing. Because what the company has been given, that will definitely suit you to the best. The successful models I'm talking. Exactly the honor that is due unto the glory of Jehovah, we are not here to alter by our stupid thoughts. We are not here to alter by our human energy, thinking that this man can be happy when we go and sing like this. This congregation can be happy when we make them to be involved in emotionalism or personality cults or legalisms. No. We need to be very thoroughly understandable to the point of considering, dear brethren, in a day-by-day -day walk that we are going through take in the process of Bible doctrine. We need to know what exactly our Lord desires from us. We need to give back with that is due unto him, then you need to know what and how he really desires that he can take it back. He can take it back, the glory to him, provided in a proper channel that you pay him. The proper channel would be the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, through rebound, through the privacy of your priesthood, through the confession of your sins. There cannot be no other methods, no other trends, the way you can think you are doing great works. No, no way, no chance at all. The only reality will be very simple for you to note. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ demands in us the truth of reality of Bible doctrine. He doesn't go for any other thing apart from Bible doctrine. He doesn't take any other thing apart from the knowledge of Christ. And Lord God, the Holy Spirit demands you to walk in His terms and conditions, not as per your own terms and conditions. And he has originally designed a plan for the church. The church plan, the church age believer, the protocol plan of God, this unique spiritual life, the use of Aya, given you the greatest assets in the polity of privileges. And why are you not able to hear? You have not been circumcised, you're here. That's why you're not able to hear and take the information to thine heart. Because heart is a circulation of the pump, which circulates the pure blood towards the entire body and gets back the impure blood out. That's why the heart is a process where it has to now circulate doctrine to each and every facet of your soul. So that your soul can learn now Bible doctrine and it can yield forth to the praise of his glory in his grace. And that is what you and I have to note, dear brethren. And that is what you and I have to come to the realization of the truth in Christ.
Greater our negligence to give number one priority for Bible doctrine. Greater will be our negligence to show forth the maximum glorification of Christ, wherewith he has chosen you to undo the works of the evil. And as you walk in a day-to-day -day life, not only just spreading the fragments around, you need to undo the work of evil and expose it in the light. Alenko in the Greek. To expose the true character and show forth the reality of the word, how powerful it is. And that cannot be done if you are not capable of walking a true walk of holiness in the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. That cannot be done by your energy of your flesh. That cannot be done by the way you think you are great. But it could be done only by a single procedure. The single procedure being to learn the truth. Therefore, dear brethren, ponder over these things as we shall continue in the next day. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to our fellowship with you through thy word. Father, give us the circumcised ears according to thy word and make our heart to be leaned enough to take in thy word to the depth of our heart and cause us to circulate through the proper process of cleansing the garbage of our soul and causing thy pure doctrine to be circulated to the facets under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, so that the doctrine that we are going to communicate could be the real word of the Lord and the people can really change and come back to the repentance and give number one priority for doctrine. To this extent, we pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us, for we ask it in Christ's name, Sovereign Father. Amen.